Hello, I'm Mark Wilson, president of DAV's National Service Foundation. On behalf of the foundation and our board of directors, I'm proud to present our 2020 annual report. It always brings me a great deal of pleasure to present our report on the remarkable services the foundation is able to support because we know it results in a high, higher quality of life for disabled veterans and their families. By providing support for DAV's core mission of service through the foundation, we help veterans every step of the way. We have held firm in that mission over the past year, even though an unprecedented pandemic that has required us to quickly adapt over and over again. I'm extremely thankful to everyone who once again helped raise over $2.1 million in donations and bequests for the foundation and the Columbia Trust in 2019. And for added impact, our national organization matches each dollar donated to the foundation's Columbia Trust Fund up to a maximum of $3 million per year, effectively doubling the value of your gifts. Your amazing generosity has allowed the foundation to remain strong in 2019 with net assets of more than $148 million at year end. Veterans are best served through wise stewardship of each dollar entrusted to the foundation. And the foundation's unwavering commitment to this model is clearly demonstrated through the $6.3 million that was expended toward direct programs of service for veterans and their families in 2019. This represents a remarkable 97% of total expenditures. Throughout 2019, the foundation expended $4.1 million to help the national organization provide necessary services to disabled veterans and their families. Most importantly, this support aided our national service program, which provides veterans with no cost professional claim services throughout the nation. Another way the foundation is able to provide support is through the Columbia Trust, a restricted fund that assists departments and chapters in providing direct services to veterans and their families at state and local levels. Impressively, in 2019, the trust awarded grants totaling $2.1 million to chapters and departments throughout the nation, who through these grants were able to provide veterans with transportation, claims assistance, and to combat homelessness in their communities. You know, we have some very special groups and individuals who have been extraordinarily generous in their support of the foundation. One example of that generosity is the Ernestine Schumann Hike DAV chapter number two from Kansas City, Missouri, whose unwavering loyalty is reflected through annual contributions since 1979. In 2019, chapter two achieved a cumulative lifetime giving total of $657,000, earning them the first ever Silver Level Star Award. This prestigious award features two stars that represent giving at the $575,000 and $650,000 milestones. Additionally, seven chapters or departments have earned a place among others or higher position on the foundation's Grand Memorial Honor Roll of Distinguished Donors located at DAV's National Service and Legislative Headquarters in Washington. And they are the Charles Musante Chapter 46 Department of Massachusetts for lifetime contributions in excess of $50,000, the Department of Hawaii for lifetime contributions of $10,000, and the following who achieved lifetime contributions of $5,000, the Department of North Dakota, Chapter 14 of Holland, Michigan, the Milwaukee Chapter 44 of Wisconsin, Chapter 4 from Tampa, Florida, and the Colonel Charles Young Chapter 3 from the District of Columbia. So to you, supporters of the foundation, we offer our most sincere appreciation and gratitude. We simply could not accomplish so much without your continued support. I would now like to take a moment to proudly recognize DAB's elite core of national service officers, whose daily work is the backbone of our mission. You all should be extremely proud of the impact you have on the lives of this nation's disabled veterans and their families. Even through the COVID-19 pandemic, pandemic and transitioning from physical assistance to virtual counseling, 
you have continued to serve your fellow veterans and their families impeccably. Many of our physical offices may be closed, but our national service officers are working remotely to remain available to assist disabled veterans and their families. One way to see this impact is reflected through the gifts made in honor of DAV National Service Officers for the work they do on behalf of disabled veterans. The Richard J. Cosgrove Pace Setting Award recognizes the National Service Office in each division that has the largest combined total contributions made in its name. The 2019 winners are Division I, Wilmington, Delaware, with a total of $3,800. Division two, Togus, Maine, with a total of $9,100. Division three, Chicago, Illinois, with a total of $31,400. Division four, St. Louis, Missouri, with a total of $84,300. And division five, Fort Snowy, Minnesota, with a total of $12,700. And division six, Cleveland, Ohio, with a total of $20,100. These awards will be mailed to the office of each division winner. Thank you again to our nationwide core of incredible national service officers. You are the best. I now wanna call upon you to be part of the cause. I encourage each of you to donate to the National Service Foundation or the Columbia Trust so we can continue to provide vital services to veterans and their families throughout the nation. You can donate online or by mail at the address that's noted on your screen. This is a way to donate in honor of or to commemorate our friends, brothers and sisters, and show our commitment to America's finest. That's the end of my report, but I wanna thank you all for your continued support.